first. I consider this the main season. Is this the main season? I don't know. If it's it is. It's the main season. This, okay. <laughs> this is his first main season show or whatever. And my first time out here, out here in these streets, you're going to throw me <laughs> throw myself in. And if I go home Bro. for the rest of my challenge career, I will blame you. <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome back to our channel. We are back with a new episode of the Challenge World Championship. This is uh, episode 10? Mm -hmm. 10. Episode 10. So let's get right into it with this recap and review. All right. So uh, we essentially pick up after last week's episode where we finally saw Kelly and Tristan go home. Uh, again, like we said, they were just biding their time. So it was sad to see them go, but we all knew it was coming. So basically, everybody knew the writing on the wall was that if Jarrell and Kiki lose this elimination, that they would be the ones voted in or going in. And if Yes and Emily would win, then everybody plan would go into chaos because that is worst case scenario. And I do want to say that this episode frustrated me so much. Because I didn't understand people's logic, and I didn't understand what we was doing, because people wasn't making sense. And I was like, this is how we playing this game now? Sarah lets uh, Danny know, is Sarah, Danny, yes, and Emily, and mm -hmm. basically Sarah lets Danny know that they, that basically, I they have no plan, of yeah. doing anything that I said I was doing. Which was obvious. That, I don't even know why that was even agreed to. Yeah, so that's why I don't know. With that said, I don't know why Tori and Jordan didn't have a contingency plan. Because, like, yeah, if Yes and Emily didn't win, we need to pull the numbers. So if they didn't win, or even if they did win, Sarah and Theo need to be right along in that bottom somewhere. Because, like, Come on now. Y'all knew they wasn't going to keep it um, together. So either way, uh, Sarah basically says that, you know, uh, your word is bond in this house. So we want Emily and Yes to win. That way we don't have to technically go against our word. And I'm yeah. like, that's a technicality. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, but I mean, she playing, she playing her game. I mean, they should have known that they wouldn't keep that because I doubt that, number one, I doubt that she was on the other, other foot. Tori would have agreed to get rid of, like, Jordan if it was in the yeah. switch position. So I don't think she would even agree to that. Um, so they agreed to it. I guess that's the whole – the whole thing is that they said yes. They shouldn't have, they shouldn't have said yes because it makes them seem, like, untrustworthy. And – um but also, I think I had a problem with in this whole scenario was that Emily was like, you know, they, they want to hopefully be able to throw in Darrell and Kiki or hopefully they lose. And she said, because she, she don't said. trust, she don't trust Australia. <laughs> I was like, baby, you are the reason Australia you, has no Exactly. Trust. You're the <laughs> reason You are the why. untrustworthy one. <laughs> because you she started everything and then you mad that they reacted. Yeah, yeah she's, she's the original one say, who shot the first shot at Australia. <laughs> yeah. Nigga, you did yeah, the turncoat. Was say. She was like, Troy was the one who threw the first shot. No, no. you did. Troy and then she didn't. was like, Emily doesn't trust I mean, she was like, Kiki doesn't trust me. She because had a reason not to. <laughs> she Troy had was a damn victim. To. Kiki was yeah. a victim. And you sat there and, you know what? She pulled a camera. She victimized herself. <laughs> I don't yeah, like she, that. Yeah, I don't she like, like I can't trust Troy. Because you didn't did have that. to, you sat there and victimize yourself for what reason? Like, yeah. it wasn't necessary. Yeah, I don't think she even believed it when she was saying it. She was like, <laughs> no. <"Kinda." laughs> she tried yeah. to say that shit for plot reasons. That shit didn't mean nothing. I don't understand why Danny is there. Because again, you're actively trying to get rid of your partner, the person that you're tied to. That's, I understand Sarah and Emily plotted, but Danny, you really can't do nothing against Tori because. She's literally tied to you. Even if well, you he don't want to get rid of Tori. He wants well, to get rid of her. Number one, Tori's still going to play the game that she's going to play. I, I mean, I know, but he don't want to get rid of her. I think the problem he, is... He wants to get rid of her, honestly. <laughs> no, he does. He does. I think the problem <laughs> is they... Tori and Danny have played two totally different games. And this is probably the first time that it took me to actually sit back and was like, 
I actually agree with Danny this time. I was like, like this episode, like this episode throughout was... the entire show, I was like, I'm not understanding this logic. It ain't making I still no don't sense. Because even this was the even... first episode I actually truly felt like, okay, you know what? He might have a point this time. I I agree. I, still, I agree. Yeah. I still don't agree because even if you want to go by the whole, she has two number one logic. So does Danny. He has Sarah. But see, Emily. the thing with Danny Emily is that not really Danny his had one. it with his country. He had one with Sarah. He, didn't. he came out the gate not working with USA. <laughs> No, no, no. He had Sarah who was with USA and that was the one that he needed and then he was working with the other countries as a fallback. He tried to work with Ben, but Ben kind of screwed that up. But he was he was trying at least and then he used the other countries as a fallback and a protection for himself and his actual number ones, which was kind of smart. You can't politic your way to the end if you and your partner are not on the same page. He's working with one entire other side of the house that wants the side of the house that you are working with going. You can't... So that's not, a, that's not a Tory issue. That's a vamp issue. That is very much a Tory issue because you, how, as you can see... How? If I come into the game already established with relationships and you don't, you literally just form this Australian... U.S. alliance in this house. We don't know them. Emily literally just put her own player against uh to elimination. Why would I think this will be a good partnership? But that's what I said. That's why I said Emily is not his. Uh, yeah, he's. Um, he's his I'm, not, I'm saying the same way too. Emily works for Danny is the same way Casey works for Tori. No, that no, because they're, they're actual other friends one. outside of the show. You said what? Like they're friends outside of the show. Like I, I mean, I if you're elected, saying, you're friends with everybody. But I feel like Tori's taking it more personal. If your vote, like if Danny wants to vote for Casey, she's taking that personal. If Tori wants to vote for Emily, he's like, "Bro, what you doing? That's a number." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like like that, Danny that's what I'm saying. Just like Danny's, that's Danny's, Danny's logic up. Thing, Danny's logic up to this point, it wasn't making sense because it's like. You have a whole entire Team USA that can work together. Why are you using the other countries? Let them fight amongst themselves. Then it got to a point where it was like, oh, you're using them to do your dirty work and protecting you in case shit get real. Your partner yeah. wants them going. That don't make sense. She's there helping you more than her side is. Why not just go with Danny's group? Danny's side doing all the damn work anyway. I don't agree. Both of them got there's flaws. On both <laughs> no, ends. yeah, but I agree. This, I think there's flaws on both ends, but on this episode, I was kind of with Danny on a lot of things that was happening. This challenge is called uh point break, I think, or uh something like that. Uh so basically the players must swim to six floating platforms. Each is a different distance. They must collect a puzzle that color that is Mm. They must collect a puzzle that is coordinated with their assigned color. Uh, once all the pieces is collected, they have to solve a puzzle. Uh, once the puzzle is solved, then they have to answer a question about the puzzle. Uh, but they only can call for check three times, and they're also tethered to each other um, during this um, challenge. So right from the start, we kind of see Jordan and... Um, Emily and yes, kind of neck and neck. They go for the furthest one first. Jordan is literally right on their heels. And in my opinion, out the gate, yes was already floundering. Um, so Emily was literally dragging him. Yeah, he was. I mean, he was trying his best, but this is just a testament to how great she can swim. Because... I was gonna say, yeah, I mean, I don't think any partner would have tell any guy telling her would have been able to keep over. She's a goddamn Olympic swimmer. <laughs> like yeah. I, I like she would have been dragging anybody at this point. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So we also see Darrell trying to calm Kiki down because Kiki is having a whole asthma attack. She like, I can't do this. Oh no. See the when Kiki got yeeted into the <laughs> I thought it was about to be a medical DQ. I was so confused. <laughs> Because like, like, oh my girl. <laughs> so see Tori and Danny where they're talking about uh Tori basically teaches them how to do these squids. Um 
and Danny is a human squid apparently because he has locks and you know he's doing the squid. And then uh, the only other team was Theo and Sarah, but they was really a non-factor this whole uh, <laughs> challenge because apparently Theo can't swim. I feel like he was a better swimmer in past challenges, or maybe they just didn't have water. Even challenges. in the UK, black people can't swim. That was the first, <laughs> and that was the only thought that went through my head. I was like, damn, black people can't swim in the UK either? But, uh, throughout the challenge, Jordan and Cass uh, takes the lead. Uh, they was neck and neck with Emily, yes, but they eventually take the lead. However, um, they lose that lead because Jordan makes a mistake and grabs the wrong puzzle piece. Uh, he grabbed Darrell and Kiki's instead of theirs. Uh, and he tried to talk to Darrell and, like, get my piece. So, uh, I mean, if I was Darrell, I kind of would have did that because it probably yeah. would have saved him. But I guess Darrell in the long was like, uh, I think in the moment you just like, uh, uh-uh, no. But I think it. I don't know if it would have helped so much because I think him. It would have helped. They would have won essentially. Jordan and Kaz would have won, but I think Darrell and Kiki might have still lost. Yeah, like I said, I think it would have been Sarah, Theo and uh, Sarah. You think so? So eventually, Emily and Yes uh, get their um, pieces out there, and literally they call a check. Uh, both Jordan and Kaz and Emily and Yes missed two checks, uh, but they were both on the last one, and just by a couple of seconds, Yes and Emily calls it and makes them the official winners of the challenge, and then Darrell and Kiki are unfortunately the losers of this uh, challenge for the second week in a row. So Yeah, yeah I was, I was, was um... <laughs> I was just so sad about that. I was like, please, please. I, I literally was about to fast forward because I was like, please don't let them lose, <laughs> please. And then they lost. And it's just like, we can't never. I just wanted unexpected people to come last. So basically, we get back to the house. Troy is somewhat seeing the writing on the wall that him and Casey are the ones to uh, go in. Because there is no Aussie um, loyalty anymore. Um, but then again, there was never really any loyalty to begin with. Nope. Um, and then meanwhile, Danny, Sarah, and Emily are essentially happy and talking about how their plan worked and how they're so excited um, that they are the winners and working against the odds and all that jazz. And we also see Danny mention how uh, the envy or the legends play with their emotions, whereas the leg- uh, MVPs are playing strategically. And I mean, there's a debate to go he into lying. that. He went live. It's, yeah, it's a debate. That's it a- depends on the legend and it depends on the relationship too. So I mean, like but, I said, there's a debate for that, but I, I agree. Think, like sometimes you can't play an emotional game. You got to do what you got to do. And that, that's what I'm saying. Like earlier, I was like, yeah, that that logic I agree with because it's been happening. Your own partner has been playing emotional and you've been playing strategically and we've seen it for 10 episodes. It's just mm-hmm. now we actually finally fucking agree with you after you didn't pull all these BS moves. Yeah. Um, like I said, I'm going to agree to disagree to the whole that part, but I do agree that you can't really play an emotional game in the, the challenge house, and people need to learn how to separate that, and we'll talk about that with Jordan. Um, but yeah, so basically, Jordan and Casey have a conversation where he basically says that um, he would uh, take the fall and nominate himself. And Casey was like, yeah, no, you would do that for Tori, but I don't think you would do that for me. Um, uh, I would say that KC this season, I'm really liking KC this season. Mm-hmm. She's starting to get like a personality, uh, personality. She's making like side comments. She getting into like the the groove. She being a little shady. It's a little banter going on with her and Emily. Like yeah. she in the game, and I I really enjoy this side of uh KC. She not being overshadowed by Nani, Fessy, and Josh. It's great. So we are back to this cast uh, now feeling like her and Jordan are equal partners. Um, and then basically Jordan, uh, well, Kaz doesn't like the idea that Jordan is basically 
saying that they are going to throw themselves into elimination. And it was weird that she was talking to Theo. Yeah, she was talking to Jordan at the same time. Like, she was having a conversation with Theo about Jordan, even though he was, like, across the room. So I found that was a little, uh, that was interesting. I think she um, was having a conversation with Theo. I, I mean, I think she was having a conversation with Jordan. I think Theo just so happened to be there. I, I truly feel like that was a conversation that they were having as a team. But Theo just so happened to be there. And it's just like, well, I'm not going to leave. I mean, I'm just going to sit here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to leave. I'm just going to be nosy, figure out what's going on. I, I never think the idea to throw yourself in there is a good idea. Just just when um when Tori mentioned about like I'm not gonna say any of my friends' names, so I'm gonna tell them we should go in. You know, Danny, he's never been into elimination, so you know, can you really call yourself a champion if you don't go into elimination? Yes, I can. I can definitely do it, and I would prefer to do it. <laughs> so I was <laughs> like, just like, <laughs> like why? We've, just, we've I, seen people throw themselves in and get sent home. Yeah, they literally like, showed a montage of Jordan. Of they literally in. showed the montage of Jordan throwing yeah. himself in and getting sent home. He gets sent home. I, we've watched Nelson literally take a bullet for Corey. Oh, you have an entire person attached to you. You not throwing yourself in and ruining my potential chance to win half a million bucks. Exactly. Throw yourself in. I'm when it's punching like... you in the throat if you even fix your mouth to say something. I'm I agree. Bah! Throw yourself in when it is a single person challenge. Again, it's not just you. You also have to think about my game, my feelings, yeah. my decision. Like, I should have a say in this. Like, you know, so, um, Absolutely. again. I wish she would have did that last like, week before she sent her friend in there. That would have been, that would have been nice. But that's like, yeah, you, that's, she again, waited, that's yeah, she waited way like, too late to stand up for herself. Yeah, Which, I, I still saying. think what I, I mean it still would have fell on deaf ears. Yeah, no, I, I agree with everything she's saying, but I think she should have took this stand last week and be like, "I'm not putting my friend in. You not putting your friend in. So let's pick up somebody random." <laughs> and basically, Tori again start the conversation with trying to convince Danny to throw themselves in, oh, and no. he of course doesn't agree. So, um, also basically he's like he won't let her. Um, yeah, it was just like, yeah. I'm not going to let you sabotage down. our team. Yeah. Like, no, thank you, ma'am. Like, that was just, it, I mean, I guess it kind of worked out, but still, like, yeah, that shouldn't, that would never have even been a thought. Like, Tori, I could tell you about to say something crazy out your mouth right now, so I'm going to stop you right there, <laughs> and we're going to keep it moving. Yeah, so we see Jordan uh, goes for his vote. Uh, I think he nominated Theo and uh, Sarah and Tori and Danny, I think. Um, but we also see that uh, he worked out a deal with Yes and Emily that if they don't uh, say their names, uh, basically uh, gives in to them, uh, they will be good. And Jordan states that, you know, he did pick his feelings. Basically, what she's supposed to do, like, this is a partnership. I need to do what's best for the team. And what's best for the team right now Thank you. is to take this deal. That's but also, um, that deal is just as, like, binding as Emily and Danny, Dan, the Sarah, Emily, Danny deal. It's the Literally, same. It's this one. And yeah. at that point, that was when I was like, Danny is 100% right. Because the same moves Danny is, was making and is trying to keep making, Jordan just did. And explain. Yeah, like, I, and literally explain, bro, this is a partnership. We have to work together. And it's not just me. It is us. That's all that matter, bro. Yeah, but he made that deal. But the deal not binding. So he told Emily and Yes that they would lay down at the finish line. And not, something like he won't cross Basically, it. they won't win. He'll come in yeah. second. Even if but when it comes down to crunch would, time. Um, he ain't gonna do that. <laughs> you think no, Jordan, Jordan, I don't know why Emily gets believed. Jordan that. wise no, Jordan. throwing a final. Jordan got a second this episode, and you saw what he did. You think he about to let y'all win again? That don't even make sense. Jordan, <laughs> Jordan literally screwed up and almost won a challenge. And beat an Olympic swimmer in a Look. swimming challenge. That's crazy. At the end of nominations, we are at a stalemate. So it is Dilla's choice, and the decision goes to Keith, not Keith, uh, Emily, and yes. 
Uh, so we basically go straight into elimination. Mm-hmm. Uh, they don't hesitate at all. They say Troy and KC. Troy threw the first shot. So, and like Troy said, just admit that you just don't want me to win and that you just don't like KC. Like, don't yeah, say like, I threw the first shot when we all exactly. know that you did. I'm glad TJ pointed out. TJ was like, um, you're Australia, that's Australia, what's happening? And she's like, you know, they're on different sides. They're Man, not she like, jealous. <laughs> it's crazy. She jealous. She <laughs> jealous. Like, you see, like, uh, uh, TJ pointed that out. He's like, we got two uh, Australian champions down here. Like, what's I happening? hate, I, I don't <laughs> like, giving better. the half-ass reasons, better. the I'm sorry's, I don't mean to do this, this is tough, or oh, you went after me. Bro, just be a man. Stand on your word. I don't care. This elimination, they are uh, essentially they have to bust down a brick wall, put it back together and solve the uh, formula, and then they will have to fit that code into a lock, mm-hmm. unlock a rope, <clears throat> go through another wall and uh, finish the puzzle. Whoever yeah. finished the puzzle first wins. Um, so I was kind of confused. I feel like this was really irrelevant, but first of all, because I thought you had to like, I don't know, maybe I just thought they had to mark the whole wall down or whatever the case may be, but apparently they both just had to go through it. So it didn't matter how much they knocked down, they literally knocked the brick down. And see, the hook. That's why you ask questions. Because m- m- first thing I say, do I have to knock the whole thing down or just like a little bit of it? You feel me? Like <laughs> a just a little yeah. bit, because I mean, if they could have got through this... that, they would have solved the puzzle. I mean, not the puzzle, the math question. Faster. Also, yeah, they've been doing damn math equations on this show for at least five to eight years now. <laughs> Why do we not know math? <laughs> it is ridiculous at this point. Why do we not know multiplication? Well, Addition, I think also no, I don't want to hear it. I don't, we are, they are in their damn 40s. It ain't changed. They're not learning it the new way. It is the, is the same way your old ass learned it in school. You can learn, it's just, it, they drew it in sand, bro. We are able to get theirs unlocked. They go for the first swing. That was funny. <laughs> that was funny. I don't, know why, the whole show. I don't know why they did Troy so <laughs> up, up until that point, that was, that like, I don't think I've found anything funnier this entire season. Than that one moment. Yeah, that shit, I nerve, rewind it at least ten times. They that had the nerve to do a confessional. Of KC made it like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> they, they was wrong. It's like Detroit you should have seen it coming, but then it was like, because we all know this show, you should have seen that coming. But then it was like you tried to give them the benefit of the doubt. You thought it was just gonna be easy, and then it just, yeah. yeah. The KC goes. You thinking okay. Casey got a little bit more mass on her. You know, she might dominate. Maybe it was her choice small. She got, her, she got some calf muscles. Boop. <laughs> they didn't go through, but they eventually was able to uh, get through the wall and basically solve the puzzle. Once they got through that second wall, it was pretty much a wrap. The first, the puzzle was a circle, so you yeah, really can't do that wrong. Easy. The puzzle was not an equalizer. I was <laughs> like, no, the math this- problem was the equalizer. Uh, uh, Troy and KC are the winners. KC throws a little uh, jab at Emily. It was like, uh-huh, we're back. Now, what's up? Um, and, yeah, Kiki and Darrell are, once again, another team that was just biding time, and they are finally put out their misery. So we have well, one Australia switch- team. And I have to switch my allegiance. Because you know I'm always trying to I'm always with the underdog usually. And so what what I was gonna say earlier is that I am so surprised this will be the first time ever <laughs> that I am rooting for KC. Now <laughs> I have changed my to- I'm totally I out of everybody that's left is either KC or uh KC and uh Troy or Jordan and Cass. That's the only people I can root for at this point. Yeah, me too. Like that's literally the only two teams. I'm I really for like the final for. to win and everybody get disqualified. Let's get into the fantasy draft. So in first place right now, we have Savon with 1088. Savon took over. <laughs> Obviously, because you know me. I'm not a pick players. You feel me? 
Okay. Um, wow. We lost Darrell and Kiki. That's uh, okay. And second place, we have Gigi with 507. Second uh, place. Yeah. Damn, I'm what? that many points ahead. I'm sorry, I don't speak second loser. Anywho, uh, in third place, unfortunately, I am there with my two teams, you know, fighting in I the bottom. You lose your point when you lose your team. You said what? I don't think you should lose your point just because your person leave. I mean, well, I'm glad to be in second place, but I don't like that rule. We, we have to switch that. <laughs> I can uh, recalculate them up. It's not no, no, no. Right now, right now. <laughs> you can that's, recalculate that's and then go change. You don't change. You don't change the rules of the game in the middle of the game. <laughs> next game. I'm, it's not going to matter. I'm still be winning. So, <laughs> so. Now, Apparently, with these rules, if you lose the people, you go lose your voice. So. <laughs> I just lost my second set of people. I still have a team still. I got six people. I'm good. <laughs> but that is our recap and review for the challenge um world championship episode 10 um please join us next week for episode 11 we'll see you on our next video please like and subscribe peace